All right. Ex-girlfriend hooks up with stranger at party we both attended. Okay. Hey, Billy, on the back nine of life. That's true. My girlfriend and I broke up about four months ago after an 11-year relationship. Wow. Sorry to hear that. We share a lot of the same friends, and I knew we would see each other at a friend's New Year's party. Two days before the party, my ex hit me up and asked to get a drink and clear the air before seeing each other for the first time since the breakup. We had an awesome time, and we ended up going out again uh, the next night and had an even better time. She then asked if I wanted to share a cab to and from the New Year's party. I agreed. Well, at the party, she met a guy, and they were all over each other the entire night. Oh, God. She ended up ditching me and going home with him at the end of the night. I have hooked up with a few people since the breakup, but never in front of my ex. And after the previous two nights, I was absolutely devastated by what she did. I would love any advice or insight. Thanks, and go fuck yourself. Well, that, it really seemed like, unless she was completely shit-faced, that really seemed a little calculated. And that right there, sir, your story right there is why I avoided staying in contact with ex-girlfriends. Um, not saying they were all bad, but I had a girlfriend like that, an ex. And uh, they have like this sixth sense as right as you're starting to get past and over them. They just feel it. They call you up and they just fuck your life, your head up all over again. Um, Here's one for you, dude. What kind of a person would do that? Huh? The kind of person that you don't want to put your seed in. Just know that that could have been the mother of your fucking children. You dodged a bullet. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Okay? And I'm willing to bet that unless she completely fucks up her life, you will not hear from her again. Or you will hear from her because she is a sadistic person and wants to hear your reaction. She wants to hear the pain and get off on it while she goes like... Well, I didn't think there'd be a problem because we were broken up. So I don't know why you're putting this on me. Okay. I thought we both had, we had a nice time. We were adults and the whole time she's just getting off on the fact that you still give a fuck. So, uh, dude, you dodged a major fucking bullet. I mean, I, I, I would never do that to somebody. I would never, I, I wouldn't do that. Like if, uh, You know, I, I wouldn't do that now. I've been with Nia forever. I, if I saw an ex girl, I would never fucking. I would just whisper, Nia, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, you know? Let's go someplace a little more quieter. I would never do that to somebody. That's just a fucking asshole, male or female. To do that to somebody is a really fucking asshole thing. I'm sorry that happened to you, but you know what? You know what's great, dude? She's out of your life. She's out of your life. And you know, you know what those people are about? They're like those what about Bob people, you know? Remember the beginning of What About Bob? The therapist gets Bill Murray's character away from him, dumps him in fucking Dreyfus's lap. That's what she's, she's the fucking female version. Those What About Bob people, if you can ever dump them off on other people, it's fucking tremendous. And she did it to herself. And this is what you do. Anytime you ever see her after that, just big smile on your face. Big smile on your face. Hey, how you doing? Are you mad? No, no, we broken up. Good for you. You know, have the time of your life. All right. Nice seeing you. Leave. All right. And uh, now's a great time, dude, to fucking expand your horizon, find new friends, indulge in a fucking hobby, travel, get yourself in great shape, go to the gym. It's time to you fucking work on you. And that person you, is, is in the rear view fucking mirror. You know what? All she did was give you a great fucking story to tell the love of your life because that chick ain't it, all right? Enjoy your 2018. You're a free man.